worked with a, a big uh, English act years ago, back in England, a big arena touring act. And the manager was kind of a producer. And uh, this is back when I was, you know, it was like one of my first big arena tours. Right. I was, I was the guy fucking mixing, you know, the fucking number one band in England. And um, he would, the manager would come and stand next to me every night. And he'd just be like, can you just do this? Can you just do that? Oh. Push the piano there. Oh. Push the other. And um, this went on for a few weeks. And uh, I gave him some faders, of the things he wanted to hear. And... Um, which was the piano, there was a backing vocal and an acoustic guitar line or something. So he would just do mix those. And one night I stood back and I listened and I go, you know what, he's absolutely right. He's putting those in just the right place in the mix. Mm -hmm. Because I wasn't hearing that. And from that point I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be completely open to what people have to say. Because I don't sometimes hear things that, you know, they do and it's actually very valid. So I'll try anything. I'm very open to trying anything once. It's, it's amazing <laughs> what happens when you take those two steps back from the desk. Yeah. Two just steps. listen for a second. I remember years ago, <clears throat> I was doing production and front of house on this one tour, and the lighting guy was working. <clears throat> he was programming all day and really super focused in it and what he was doing. And before the show, I'm like, hey man, uh, you think we should take that ladder up? And there's a big ladder hanging from you know one of the trusses. And he, it was so glaringly obvious that it was hanging and did not belong there, yet he was so hyper-focused on all the little pieces, he didn't <laughs> notice the big, obvious one. Right. And I feel like we do that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've noticed even the jerk that comes up with the rude sort of way of telling you something's wrong somewhere in the room, He's usually pinpointed it, right? <laughs> he's usually, yeah. maybe yeah. his delivery sucks yeah. and he's, he's an right. asshole. Yeah, I know exactly he's what you're talking about. He's probably right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? He's probably right. Yeah. I can't hear the vocal. Yeah. yeah. Right. Can I really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think I can safely say we would you know, mix 100% every night with whatever we do. Because Absolutely. it's yeah. Because it's art. This is what we do. You know? it's, it's, well, I, 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 sometimes I can mix any too. genre and I don't think there'd be anything I couldn't. I think you're right. I think, I think some things I don't can. want to mix. Mm -hmm. I'm passionate about mixing, mm -hmm. you know. So I love that enough to where it might not be my favorite band in the world. You know what I mean? Right. If you happen to have the artist, if you happen to love the artist and their music, yeah, that's, that's, that's a bonus. That's a bonus. Yeah, yeah, huge bonus. It's interesting, and I say that I, you know, pop music isn't my personal druthers. Although at the same time, I'll tell you the people that I work with in pop music are the most talented people that I've ever worked with. It, it's not like we got a bunch of tracks in a yeah. studio and we got somebody no, who no, looks no, no, pretty no. and I everything. Think, I think it's exciting where the music business is going. You know, I, I'll always be amazed by it and I'll always be excited. There's always going to be something great.